Okay, this is the Nicholson's assembly shop. I'm Mike, the draftsman designer. And this is the Ramsbury Holy Cross um, casework and organ, or part organ, that we've stripped down, um, restored the console, restored the casework, ready for painting in its new colours. We're trying to get it back to something like it was in about 1890. Uh, originally, parts of it were 1812, I believe, uh, but there are too many parts that have been gone missing over the, over the years for various reasons and various alterations. So we're trying to give it some of its integrity back. Okay, okay this is the, the console, which is in the process of being restored. We've um, re-pieced the doors. They now work, and we've put new locks in them. Uh, and all of the music desk has been part remade and part re-pieced due to the fact that over the years, um, lots of things have been cut out of it and stuck onto it. Um, similarly, in the, in the side of the jams as well. So we've put new blower switches in, new light switches, new lights, both for the music desk and for the pedal board. The case work's been readapted here where it had been, to put it mildly, sort of butchered out in a, in a very strange cut. Um, the pedal board was never meant to be in there, I don't think. Um, it, it would have been a much later pedal board. I'm not, I'm not sure from We're going to um, in, install a, a mechanical action for the pedals, completely from, from new but hopefully within keeping of the, how, how the organ would have been. Uh, this is the, the bellows for the organ, which supplies the wind to both the swell and the great sound. Um, at some point it had been a double rise bellows, but now it's been returned to being a single rise, and it's all been completely re so it's going to be stripped down to the timber, and completely re with new sheepskin um, on the corners and all the way around. So that should really now last for another 50 years. And we've, you know, it's been painted back with a paint that we've matched with the original colour in the job. So we're, you know, we're trying to put it back and give it some integrity, uh, and, and hopefully this, this will um, last for a long time. The rear of the uh, organ, and uh, this will be more visible now as well because this is. The organ's been moved forward 18 inches, so the rear of the organ is going to be seen. So these panels are going to be painted oh. to match the rest of the casework. All right. Um, everything's gone darker in colour because it's been treated for woodworm. Because the, oh, yeah. the casework is riddled with woodworm, and some of it so badly that we've had to destroy parts and Probably remake them. We've had to replace parts, yeah. Um, which you'll see later, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're now up on the platform above the organ, looking down. You don't realise how large it is, actually, when it's in the... No. Well, the church is a large building, of course, so it's, it's almost lost. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, a fairly, it's a fairly big piece. Yeah. Um, a lot, a, a, one of the other problems is a lot of the plaster work, which are all the all the little finials and cappings, that they're, all, they're all made of plaster. The whole case um, is going to be repainted and, and, and what you can see in the light green there is going to be painted in a very similar colour, a sort of a, almost a duck egg bluey green. Right. And then what you can see that we think is gold paint at the moment is going to be done in a very, in a very much darker green to contrast and the console will be the same. And then all the new pipes that go in it will be gilded with gold leaf, champagne colour gold leaf. Wonderful. Uh, quite a, Quite a cost, really, but it, I think with the two colours and the gold leaf, you're going to get quite a nice contrast. Yeah, yeah. These are the replacement front pipes, um, rescaled and remodelled, because the other ones were sort of a hodgepodge of all sorts of things. <laughs> we're going to keep the original wooden dummies, and th these are going to be made, and most of these are now speaking pipes of the great open diapason. And these, when finished, will be fully gilded with a, a champagne gold leaf. These are the feet of the new front pipes that have been completely made from the flat metal. Um, the chapel who makes them unfortunately isn't here. When these are finished and the bodies are finished, these will then be soldered onto the bodies. These are the leaves being formed. Um, these will then have uh, what's called a languid put in them, and they'll then go next door into the voicing shop, and Guy Russell, the tonal director, will uh, make them speak. Mm. Uh, hopefully they'll sound beautiful, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. My name is Guy Russell, I'm the tonal director of Nicholson. Uh, my job is to look after all the pipe work, and that is um, voice it, 
revoice it, um, do any specification for new organs, um, and um, also get all the scales and compositions of the pipes for any new organs or any additions. At, at the moment, I'm, I'm working on, on your swell stop type basin. It's a stop by hill, um, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm repairing it as necessary, cleaning and regulating them. And there's a few repairs and a few funny notes. They've been got at a little bit in the past. I'm sure they have. And so we're. Mm -hmm. We're just uh, making sure they will sleep properly. Oh, wonderful. So you, this is the actual the voicing part in... This is the voicing part, yes. In, in progress? Absolutely. Could you just do one or two other pipes? Or is it... <laughs> That's wonderful to actually see it in progress. This, this is your, uh, part of your swell ovo. It's a, a reed stop. Um, it was in a, a dreadful state, it's been really got at badly. Um, I can show you how it works. Uh, inside each pipe there's a little brass tongue with a little curve on it. And, and when the wind comes in that vibrates and that gives you your tonality. And this is the little brass tongue or the reed which vibrates when the air goes through the pipe onto the hollow tube which is called the shallot and the spring is used to tune it. And it's all held together with a, a little wooden wedge. So I'll put the, that pipe back in. <laughs> 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 this is a fairly unusual stop. Um, it's called a Corolophon. It was invented by Grain Davison, the company of Grain Davison, and it's, it's got a hole in, in the top on a sleeve which is used for tuning and it, it gives it a little bit of stringy tone in, in the days before they realised you could put a nice slot in it to, to get <laughs> strings like, like we do now. Right. But right. Uh, it's all been restored and it sounds quite nice. Fairly, fairly so these have been restored, the ones there? They've all been restored, oh, really? yes. Okay. They've all been on the voice machine. Brilliant. And they all sound as they should. Don't get front pipes that uh, are the historic ones from your organ, so we're, they'll be cleaned up and restored and then uh, gold leafed. These are, are your old display pipes which were totally the wrong scale and the wrong construction for the age of the organ and made of the wrong material so we'll, uh. we are disposing of those and we're making pro proper lead pipes uh, of a decent scale to go into your front and they'll be gold diggers. This is one of the wind trunks that's from the bellows to the grate soundboard um, that's been restored, split filled and covered in leather. These are parts of the case work on the front for the front pipes I believe that we won't be doing all and that's all there is on it. So I'm working on the great sandboard. Um, we are going to move um, some pipes from this which is stop foot uh, which would have been more in, in the organ as it was before. Um, this is um, it was before spring foot. So we are moving everything to fit on the uh, original upper board. Uh -huh. So that's it. So we usually make mark of every pipe and we try to check if it's going to fit because obviously it's not taking the same place. These and are the front pipe cantilevers which when they were dismantled um, almost fell apart in the organ builder's hands. The woodwork was so deep into it. So we've had to replace them uh, and these, these are the new ones. Uh, uh -huh. Made of um, an old an old pine to hopefully keep the integrity again. Also, they would never have been wind tight. They would have been leaking like a like a sieve. So, <laughs> so we've done four of those. So the, these parts here are plaster. So when this was cut off, all these dropped off and broke. And this is one that's been put back together, or partly put back together. Uh -huh. These are the two. These are the two better of the. Of the woodworm brackets, the other ones have completely disintegrated and fallen apart. Uh, the old blower from the, the blow box was removed, uh, we replaced with a brand new one. And what was wrong with the, what is wrong with that? Just very old? <laughs> yeah, just the age of it really. Um, the new ones are much more efficient. Right. So, new one going in there. The, the original box with the blow removed. Um, it's interesting the, the new for me. Blower he, unit. He lived over the road so we'll reshape the, the old box to fit the uh, new blower. So keep it really, yeah. Okay, so this is a, a close up. These are the pedal keys, the frame of which you saw in the console. Mm -hmm. And these are beech 
and of course over the years that they've worn with people's feet. So we've re-pieced them with, with new beech, which is a normal thing. Uh, these are the those are the sharps, these are the naturals, and again re-pieced. These should be good for another 30 or 40 years, mm. depending on what people wear on the feet and how often it gets played. <laughs> these are the three finials from the top of the organ case from the towers. And these are these are a wooden core with plaster work applied. Um, and then they've been put on with iron nails, and over the years the iron nails have rusted and exploded. <laughs> and so bits have fallen off, and you know, these are 40 feet up in the air, but we've yeah. remodeled this one using car body filler when it's painted. Yeah. So it's going to look as, as, as good as it did originally. Mm. Um, they're, not, they're not terribly accurate anyway. They're, um, mm. But the old organ builders and architects knew that things that were 40 or 50 feet up in the air didn't really matter about it, to be honest. Right. Uh, that's, if you look at the casework, you'll see that the bottom half of the casework is really quite nicely done, and as it goes up, it gets less and less right. important. <laughs> well, this is a model of how a, a mechanical action organ works, and this is though a big saw cut has been taken through the middle of, a, of an organ. This is one of the keys, and when you press the key, a linkage is somehow connected to the wire here that opens this valve pallet, and that lets the air under pressure from here go into this chamber and from there it goes through to any pipes that are standing on the top. Does and it when you pull and push on the stops, it moves these slides which bring into play different sets of pipes depending on the sort of sound you want. So this is the this is the soundboard. Right, this is uh, the swell soundboard and we've done we're doing the same to the swell and the great soundboards in this job. And uh, what I've done with this one is stripped it completely down so it's just its grid, which is um, what I have here. And you can come around here, you can see the grid. And what we're doing is this is where the pallets, which are the valves which open, went to let the pipes speak. Uh, we're repalleting this with different size pallets to make the touch lighter because the, the touch or what the uh, keys feel like to the player was very all over the place, some were very hard, some were soft. So what we're doing is trying to even that out by putting new pallets in. And um, so what I should do is plane that flat, put a board on there and cut some new slots for the new pallets to go on because they'll, they'll be longer and thinner. And uh, they're also on this, this is where, where the boards go on that the pipes stand on and uh, what I'm doing here is there are splits of various places will cause one note to run into another one and so you'll get two pipes speaking when you just press the one note which you don't want obviously so what I'm doing is repairing these splits by screwing down either side and filling that with uh, wax which I shall uh, melt in, that, that fills it up, and then I shall turn it over and flood the whole thing with hot glue, animal glue. So that runs in there, and it floods in all the cracks and all the splits and everything, and that will stop any leaks between one note and another. And that gets poured out and the residue will set hard and mm. um, stop any leaks. So this is one of the drawings for Ramsbury. This is for the pedal roller board. Um, which will all be made new um, in a traditional way of doing it. Um, so I set this out full size based on the scale of the pedal keys which are shown in blue and the scale of the chest which are shown in red and they have to be joined up with mm. what we call rollers with arms on them. Um, mm. That drawing probably, probably takes me about three or four days to do I think. Mm. Um, but it's done on AutoCAD. Yeah. Well, the, the, uh, some of the bits would have to be done yet, so I'm going to go around it. This is pedal pulled on, on an IP scale, so it's going to be removed. Um, the other bits from the casework, uh, this is the cut cut, uh, from the tire boards. And this pile of pipes, and these boxes have actually brought in all the voice machines that are completed. And then you've got a little box of Oh, bits and pieces which probably won't be used again. <laughs> right. We've got some bits left over. Well, this is your uh, re remodeled Sestreltra mixture. 
mixture, the three rank mixture. Uh, it, it's a uh, species of sick, that's why it's called Sesquilatra. Um, we've been the models, you can see some of the new pipe that we've had to put in to remodel it. And it starts at these three notes. The bottom C. And my mouth you can, enough, I can pop the give, give us a demonstration. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> okay. And when that's added to the chorus, it gives you that lovely English cornet sound. Right. Uh, and it will also enhance the reeds. Here's it adds a little bit of zing to the reeds, so it's a very useful stop. Right. And could you just pronounce the word for us properly as well? It's, uh, it's known in the trade as a sesquialtra and it was in a terrible state when it came in. It had really been got at, it was badly arranged. Uh, a lot of the pipes didn't speak. Uh, those that did weren't speaking the right notes. Uh, and so it's all been completely done with, and, and we've put quite a few new pipes in. Uh, and they've all been made with, with the same material and, and the same consistency as the original pipes.